back to Halo Halo. I'm Kat Aniba with your daily dose of all things entertainment and lifestyle for Asian Pacific Americans. And with the warm weather quickly approaching, it's time to get our skin and our health into tip-top shape. So today in our health segment, we're going to talk about the latest craze, which is oil pulling. Plus, we've got a couple of organic skincare lines that you guys should definitely check out. Joining me is Cindy J. Lee. Hey, Kat. Hey, Cindy. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm feeling peachy. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Just in time for spring right <laughs> Now, there's this huge craze going on, and you and I were just talking about it a couple of weeks ago, oil pulling. Right? Oil pulling, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, have you tried oil pulling yet? No, you know, my mom was telling me to try it, actually, because I hear that it helps with migraines, and I suffer from migraines. Yes. Um, I tried oil pulling the other day. Mm -hmm. I did not like it. <laughs> Cannot say I'm a fan, but apparently uh -huh. Gwyneth Paltrow is, so yeah, and that's got to mean something, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oil pulling, basically, people say, oh, it's a new craze it's a new beauty trend but it's not it's, it's, that, it's, yeah. it's been going on for years it's, it's like, like a 3, traditional years yeah, it's I a think. traditional folk <laughs> remedy right so it's um, people say oh the oil absorbs bacteria mm -hmm. it absorbs all the bad things in your body so in your mouth when you um well oil pulling is when you swish around the oil yeah. in your mouth for like 20 minutes right. which I couldn't <laughs> get there so I guess technically I didn't try it fully I, I could 10 minutes is the most I could, I right. could do I, I actually like, okay so I kind of tried it and I did it for three minutes Okay. And there's different oils that you can use. It's yes. sesame oil, coconut oil. Um, I tried the sesame oil and I just couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so they believe that oil absorbs all the bacteria mm -hmm. and it prevents it from entering your body. So mm -hmm. maybe that's why, oh, it prevents migraines, it right. prevents eczema. Yeah, there's acne. all these claims. Yeah. So far, um, so there's no scientific proof right. that it helps with all the other things like migraines mm -hmm. and eczema, but they do say it's very good for your mouth, like your, um, you know, the bacteria in your mouth. So that's got to count for something. Right. <laughs> Plus, it whitens your teeth. Apparently. Yes, the teeth whitening is what got me, actually. Exactly. That and the migraines. Yeah, so there's olive oil, there's sesame oil, and then there's, you know, our favorite coconut oil. Yes. I yeah. tried sesame oil. Uh -huh. And as much as I love sesame oil, after that that 10 minute experience, <laughs> I could not, I almost hated sesame oil. I was like, yeah. no more. I feel like I should be eating a seaweed salad or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. So I think I'm going to try the coconut oil next time. But maybe you should. You know, it is a big trend right now. Yes, it is a big trend, so I guess we should try it, you know, try yeah. it once and oh, see. Yes, and um, dentists do say though that oil pulling, it does have its it benefits, but it's, it's no different from, you know, whitening products that are already out there. Right. And, and those are, you know, you put on a strip for 30 minutes or less and ta-da, you're done. <laughs> Whereas this 20 minutes, no communication, it's like, <laughs> So I don't know if it's worth it. Plus, yes. oil is expensive. Yes. So it's you, just you use be the it judge. for cooking. But there's other benefits for using, like, say, coconut oil because I actually use it for my hair. Mm, yes, yeah. oil is very good for you. Yeah. I mean. Um, if it's good oil, of course, not just any <laughs> oil, but uh, I use olive oil uh -huh. for um, my, my face, like as a skin, like a mask. Oh, really? Yeah, I rub it in my face for um, a few minutes. I leave it on for 20, okay. and then I wash it off. I've tried the olive oil for my hair as well, but I'm more towards the coconut oil. You know, coconut now, oil? Now, uh, speaking of natural products for our skin, there's this new line by Miranda Kerr, supermodel Miranda yes. Kerr. Of course, beautiful, yeah. sexy Miranda Kerr. We all want to look like her. Yes. <laughs> now, tell me about what you thought with Cora. Okay, so I use several of their products. Uh -huh. I use the exfoliator, which is great. And the great thing about Miranda Kerr's line is it's all organic. Yes. So, um, you know, you want the best for your body. Right. When you eat food, you want natural food, food like fruit, vegetables. You don't want the processed food. Mm -hmm. And your skin deserves the same. It deserves natural products. Uh -huh. And, you know, a scary fact is, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm prepared. An average woman, an average woman uh -huh. puts... Um, at the skincare they use, there's 200 chemicals that they're putting on their face. Wow. And 60% of it is absorbed into the bloodstream directly. Okay. And not all, the, all of these chemicals are good. Right. And the scary thing is the dangerous chemicals that they put in these products, they don't even list in the ingredients. Most of it is not listed. Right. So it's it's scary. So to have a line like this, Miranda Kerr's or, uh, Cora Organics, mm -hmm. it's it's really, I'm, I'm really grateful. Because right. when I used it, I did feel a difference. Mm -hmm. um, with the exfoliator, it's, you know, it's made out of oat flour and all these natural ingredients, uh -huh. aloe, right. and when I used it and washed my face, well, washed it off, I, it had such a clean finish, uh -huh. and I didn't feel like, you know, sometimes you wash your face and you and feel it's dry. Yeah, yeah, you I feel don't like that either. Uh -huh. You feel like, you know, if you don't put lotion on it immediately, it's just drying out, but right. it felt so nice. I okay. like that feeling. Cool. So I definitely felt a difference, and I love the cleanser. Uh -huh. So if you, um, cleanser right over here. So I'm going to put some on my hand over here okay. so you can just see it. 
You see how it's, you know, other cleansers don't swish around like this. It's very liquidy, uh -huh. so it feels soft. You see, like, it's, it's, the main ingredient here is green tea, and it okay. smells really nice as well. Ooh, and it does then smell really nice. It does have a lot of the essential oils here as right. well, like it's macadamia, really nut oil, okay. and avocado. So when I washed my face, again, it didn't have that naked, like, stripped down yeah, feeling. Like, it oh, don't take, away, don't take away the natural oils <laughs> away from my face. Right. So, but it felt lovely. I felt born again. So, and my skin appreciated it. So, <laughs> okay, that's always a good. That's a plus. And now, what about this line? This product right here. This is the mist. It's mm -hmm. a um, citrus mist. Honestly, I wasn't fond of the smell uh -huh. as much because it's not 100% citrus. It's like citrus mixed with something healthy. Okay. And then, but then again, not all food, healthy food tastes good. Right. right. So the smell is a little. I mean, I prefer the rose water, but okay. yeah. But it does really give you the energizing feel, and mm -hmm. it makes your face feel fresh. So yes. I like to use this before um, lotion. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good to know. Now, while you were trying the Coral line. I was actually trying the Bio Elements okay. line, and you know, a lot of the spas mm -hmm. use the Bio Elements product. So if you don't have time like me, you can actually do a facial at home. And what I did was I tried out the starter kit for combination skin, and I like. I'm a fan of foaming cleansers, like for your face, and that's what this is right here. It's really light, and it also has pineapple, papaya extract, but it was great for my face because it was really light, because my my skin is really sensitive. And um, I also tried, one of my really, really favorite products from BioElements was the toner, because it's really light, and I feel like it's hydrating, like you were talking about how this doesn't strip your face. I feel like this doesn't strip my face either. Okay, so do you just put it on throughout the day as well? Like a yeah. mist? Well, that's what I've been doing because I love it so well, but what you're supposed to do is wash your face with the foaming cleanser and then spray the toner. So this is why I like the rose water. <laughs> why? Again, with the, the, the mist is great too, but you see, you just go, you know, you need, you need an, a picker-upper and then you uh -huh. just, you know, <laughs> See, that's what I do with day. this yeah. toner right here. You can use it all day. And then you, if you also want an exfoliator, I use their exfoliator, which is called Measured Micrograins. And what's different between their exfoliator from the others that I've tried is that it doesn't feel like sandpaper mm. when you put it on your face. This yeah. is more whippy. Ooh, and so you put it on. You can actually thing. use it as a scrub or you can use it as a mask and you can use it two or three okay. times so a week. So you just you just like leave it on yeah. longer for it longer. to be a mask. Um, mm. Going back to the spray, your turn. I want you to <laughs> do the thing. Uh, uh. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll try it. Ooh, it actually, it looks so what's clean. really good with the spray is that it's even. It's a little hard for me to... Ooh, <laughs> and like you it. see how light it smells? Yeah, I could, yeah. I spray it on all day long. How could you? How would you describe that smell? It just smells clean. Yeah, it smells refreshing and clean. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I'm loving all these products. So then, after you do the toner, then you put on the moisturizer, which you can actually use day or night. But if you use it during the day, then you have to make sure that you use SPF. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Um, the moisturizer actually balances your skin's water to oil moisture levels, and then every area receives the exact amount of hydration. It, and it doesn't even feel oily at all. That's what I like about the moisturizer. Nice. Thank you so much, Cindy. Always a pleasure. It was great to be here. <laughs> For more information on any of the products and items that we talked about today, you can check out our Facebook page at Halo Halo with Kataniba, or you can find us on YouTube at Halo Halo TV. We'll be back.